Driver Eclipse here, and we're back for more Star Ocean 2, the second story. Huh, now, let's see if I can remember where we left off. Oh yeah, we just met Celine Jules, and now we're going off to Cross Cave. So, that's going to be very interesting. We're going on a little bit of a treasure hunt to see if there's anything we can find about the Sorcery Globe. But first, we're going to go in for a little cutscene. There's a castle here, isn't there? Yes, Celine, there is. You know there is. You, we just came from there. Jeez. Celine, why would you ask such a stupid question? Huh? Oh, who's that? Hmm. Excuse me. Not at all. Pardon me. Huh? That was weird. Wait a minute. Three eyes? That is really weird. And this cutscene actually triggers um, a way to get another character later in the game if you so desire to get that person. So, but we'll get to that later. The Cross Cave is east of city of the city, darlings. So it's east. Alright, now let's go to Cross Cave. <clears throat> and hopefully we will find things about the Sorcery Globe. But if not, it will still be fun. First, let's check what we have here and our equipment and our strategy. Okay, Claude will be Protect Friends. Good to go! If I know where I'm going, I'm having a little bit of a brain fart here. Oh, here we go, okay. We have to go this way. If I can make the camera view work for me and not make Rina running like a freaking drunk retard. Here's the enemy! The enemy! Battles! Hey, we get to see how Celine fireball. fights. As you can see, she can use magic like Firebolt, and I believe there's one called Windblade, which she, she might use later. Ooh, a necklace. Let's go to the cave. It's that blue thing right there. I love this music in the game. This is my favorite dungeon music. Here's the enemy. Be careful. What the hell are those things? They're like shooting stars. Are they like big bugs or worms? Oh no, you don't. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Enemies try to do that. They try to sneak by you when you're attacking, and then they try to get one of the party members that's just standing around in the back, usually a magic user. Oh. That pisses me off when they do that. Another famous thing that enemies like to do is um, surround you. Like, for example, if you're fighting one enemy, another enemy will come up behind you, and then there'll be one in front of you, and then one behind you, and then they'll both attack you at the same time. And they can kill you pretty quickly if you're not careful. Here's the enemy. Things will work out. But since we're pretty early in the game, not many of them will do that. But it's yeah. a famous thing later on yeah. in the game when it gets harder. Yeah. So. I'm sure you'll see that a few times. Alright, Rena learned a new spell. Now, as you can see, you can level up really fast in this game. Leveling up doesn't really take as long as it does in other RPGs that I've noticed, but I think that's a good thing because, you know, because of your skill points, you can make your character stronger, you can learn spells, and also... <laughs> The highest level like is 200, 255, so you better be able to level up fast if you're starting from level 1, in this case. Rina and Claude are making a pretty good team here. Um, last night, Armageddon Time and I went to see video games live in the city that we live in, and I don't know if he's gonna put up the footage that he recorded or not, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it was so much fun. So much fun. Oh man, tons of cheering and 
Uh, they played a lot of uh, different game music from Mega Man to, to Tetris to God of War, um, Castlevania, Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger, uh, a lot of well-known games, both new and old. It was, it was really, it was amazing. And then there's some, um, there was also involvement of the audience, like, uh, there was a Frogger tournament, and, uh, there was, uh, somebody who played Guitar Hero on stage, and, uh, if he got 70, 750,000 points, then he would, um, Careful. you know, win a prize, and of course he did win the prize, and it was amazing. Oh, wow. I would definitely go if they come back. They have to come back. Oh, it was great. Let's see, what else have I been doing? Finals are done, so school is done for the summer. Yay! So that will give me enough time to uh, make more videos, hopefully, so there won't be such a long hiatus in between a bunch of them. Um, I'll say this again closer to the, to the time, but I won't and be able to put up videos in no June. Time. I'm going to be away. I'm going to be out of town in June, so Bang. that will mean no Bang. Let's Plays for that month. Bang. But I'm going to try and compensate for it by putting up a lot of videos in May. Two week. So that's, that's what's going on there. Um, oh, a really good anime that I like. Um, going from video games to anime. Uh, um is a uh, elfin lead. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that, but oh, it's amazing. Not not just for the gore, even though the gore is great, but uh, even just the storyline, it's fantastic. I, I own the box set of the anime, and it's it's really good. And uh, I managed to find um, an English copy of the uh, of the manga online, so I downloaded all 107 chapters. Took me over five hours, but I did things in between downloading, so we, like you know. I put it around the house, did dishes and whatnot. But yeah, I got all that and I'm in the middle of reading it now, so um I'm enjoying that. The enemy. Uh, I have no choice. Oh, I just remembered something. Um I don't know if any of you guys are hentai fans, but um I went on this hentai site once. I know a few of them, but I'm not gonna say which one it is. But um there was this um hentai uh, called Elfin Laid, and I thought it said Elfin Laid. I'm like, what the heck? That's not a hente. So I looked at it clo closer, and it said Elfin Laid. I'm like, oh my god, they actually made a a, a, um, a porn of a, of Elfin Laid. Oh my god, and of course, what a, what a great title, Elfin Laid, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I get to see Coda and Lucy sex. Yay, blah, 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 blah. But, and then I started watching it, and uh, it wasn't that so that that kind of sucked Shooting stars. i really thought that they would have that they did something like uh for example there's a lot of hentai or at least some about uh you know sailor moon and dragon ball like sailor moon and the seven balls and all that like don't watch that that's garbage but yeah i thought it was sort of like a mixture like that but no i got my hopes up for nothing it is kind of funny though if you think about it I wonder how many other Elfin Lead fans have actually gotten that mixed up. Now, what the hell do I pick? There we go. Sometimes it takes me a few minutes to pick my skills, guys. I have to, you know, really think it through. What are my character's, uh, you know, talents and what's going to help in the long run? What's going to help now? Is it a, is it a status building skill or is it just something that that you learn. So sometimes it takes me a few minutes to just kind of look around and figure out what I want to pick. Man, look all these treasures we're getting. We're getting a lot of stuff here. Like I said, there's tons of items in this game. And you can even create your own. Here's the enemy. Better be careful. Yo! Yeah. Stop blocking. Oh well. At least that makes it easier for Claude to kill them. Oh, Claude, why are you using so much of your magic? What the hell's going on? Look how green the cave is. I wonder if the, that's due to like a lot of radiation. 
Or maybe the stalactites the in the cave, I maybe. Have no choice. Well, there aren't stalactite caves underground. Oh. Oh. Don't know. Oh. That's a little too sciencey for me. Weak. I deserve this. No, you don't, Celine. You're an idiot. Ray. Let's see. What should I give Celine? Hmm. Let's see. trouble deciding here. Why the hell did I give her 20 strength? She's not a fighter. God, I'm so stupid. Well, I guess I wanted her to learn cooking. Okay. Look at all the maps there. Oh, can't go that way. Okay, then there's nowhere to go but down. Behind me? We did they? Claude, you're such an idiot. You just fucking wasted all your magic, you retard. Why are you doing this? Look at this. It looks like blood. Does that not look like blood, or is that grass? I like to pretend that it's blood. Oh, poor Rena. She got her shoes all dirty. Look at all those maps there. That must be maps that other travelers have, Here's the have put there to try to help out. other adventurers to find their way around the cave. We have, we have a new map. As you can see, the battles aren't too hard right now, but... They get quite a bit harder. This game can get challenging if you're not careful. The enemy. Are you ready? Damn bugs. Oh. Ray. Thank you, Celine. give you <sighs> another thing I try to do uh, when uh, when using uh, skill points is um, I try to make it so that all the skill points are used so that by the end of the time there's gonna be zero until I level up again so that I can get the maximum use out of all the skill points that I get at any given time. Neurology? Or whistling? Or courage? I think I'm gonna use mineralogy because it's times three intelligence. And that's more useful than the other two that don't do anything to your stats. Go back this way. Ah, oh, backtracking. Behind me? What? I'm still wearing my Space Invaders t-shirt that I wore yesterday to the video games live. I fell asleep in my clothes last night. I need to take a shower. I feel grubby. I feel very grubby. Flowers? Why would there be like flower prints there? That's so the weird. Enemy. Are you ready? I don't understand that design. I don't know why the programmers would put that there. No, get away from Celine! Fucker. We have a full with this. As you can see, every time that you win a battle, you gain a little uh, MP and, and HP.
which is useful. Heads up! Be careful! I know that oh. I know some gamers oh. that cut Fireball. out that cut out the battles, but I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. I'm too lazy. We they were weak. Nice it's more work for me, and I don't want to do that. So sorry, guys. You're gonna have to watch the battles, but hopefully it's entertaining. And I can always talk through them too. Gives me more commentary time. Ooh, a skeleton. Look at that. Oh, that always happens. Right when you're in front of a chest, no right when you're about to open it, there's a battle. That happens in so many RPGs, it's like, almost there, almost there, almost there, battle. Ah, oh, no! I'm sure a lot of you RPG gamers know what that's like. So close, so close, battle! I thought, he, I thought you could fight that skeleton, huh? Okay, maybe I'm thinking of another place. The enemy. Better be careful. We they were weak. With this. Run, 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 run. Okay. Okay, we've been here before. I'm just trying to get my bearings here, folks. Okay. Alright, let's go. The enemy! That way in a ready? second. After the battle. Ray! Ooh, that's loud. They were weak! Hey! Some of the attacks can be really loud. Mm, okay. Do that. Mm. Ugh, Claude has like nothing. Claude is not a talented person in this playthrough, apparently. I wish I could change that, but that would require me having to start the game all over again, and I'm not doing that. Whatever. Hopefully the other team members will be more talented, and Claude can just... I don't know. Be talentless. Christ, I'm lost. Careful! When did you- Ah, ah yeah, back attack! I, must I seem to have gotten disoriented. Ah, oh. Claude, you did it again, and you missed. You're too weak. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna figure out why the hell Claude's doing that. Strategy. Oh, he's on protect friends. I need to put it on conserve killer moves. Fuck. Oh, good. And Selena's on conserve MP. Good. If you don't put her on conserve MP um, for certain parts of the game, she can basically use all her magic and then she will be useless. So I prefer to have her on conserve yeah. MP. Better be careful. So that she can be useful, but not drain her magic at the same time. Same thing with Claude, to conserve killer moves so that he doesn't end up using all of his MP like he did in this dungeon because I stupidly forgot to change it. Let's see. There's gonna be a boss coming up soon. Do I have enough blackberries? I have nine. Okay, that's good. Just checking. Let's 
go up this way. Ah, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, folks. It's a dead end. Is this the wrong place? All I can see is that huge boulder. This is very strange. According to the map, the treasure room... It's supposed to be just ahead. Perhaps it's a fake? <laughs> uh, that... that can't be! By the way, Rena, sweetheart? Yes? I see you can cast a recovery spell, am I right? How do you get to do that? Well, I really don't understand it myself. I was able to use it before I understood anything about it. In the Heraldic Arts, there is no recovery. Oh, that's right! What a bore! It was such an expensive map! Oh, man... Shall we look for... another path? Hmm, let's see... Celine, before we do that, can you show me the map? Isn't there something small written right here? Something about a spell. When in doubt, read the fine print. Why, you're right, Claude, darling. It's faint and hard to read, but there really is something written here. All right. It's great. Should we do as it says? I'll try it right away. Look at that, a path! All right. There's a path! We've done it! Let's go on. <laughs> 